it began several months ago. Just a feeling. Like an always there, at the edge of things, presence. At first, it was comforting to me, as I had been living alone for the longest time. There was nothing there, of course. I lived alone. I traveled and shopped alone. I was alone. But now, it was as if something constantly stood just far enough out of sight that I did not notice it. No notice, except for when something seemed out of place or had been moved. A sound of movement or an eerie whisper just behind me, but not really behind me. Over the next few weeks, I would find things misplaced. A toothbrush on the kitchen counter in the middle of the night. In the morning, a watch I don't remember owning on my table. A note here and there. Don't forget to water the plants. They're on the new desk. I didn't own any plants. I don't own a desk. You forgot to water them, and the fern is dead. Tossed it in the waste basket by the door. I don't have a waste basket by the door, I thought. So I went out to the living room, shaking my head. And then I saw it. A large, copper-colored, circular bin. I slowly approached it and peered down inside. A small, wilted fern rested inside the basket. There is a mirror on the back of my door. I usually make sure I've done my makeup, or that if I wake up really tired, at least my hair has been brushed. So I stand in front of the door in the morning to check before rushing out. Sometimes, I drink a little bit much, and it helps me not to go out looking like a total mess. Suddenly, I cover my mouth, startled by what I'm seeing. In the mirror is the reflection of another mirror. And in that mirror, I can see a large desk. On the desk is a collection of plants. In my apartment is a large desk. And on the desk is a collection of plants. I blink my eyes for a moment and step back anxiously. My heart beating rapidly in my chest. But the moment I look back at the door, there is no waste basket next to it, and in my mirror, no reflection from another mirror. In my room, however, there is a desk now filled with a collection of plants, and in the corner of my eyes, I can feel a set of eyes watching me. When I turn around, nothing is there, but I can still feel it, watching me. Every day there is something new now. Even if I have just turned around for half a second, I notice it right away. Some out-of-place thing that immediately takes my notice. Nothing frightening. Just something where it shouldn't be, and that I don't remember it being. On my long walk to the subway in the morning, even in the dead of winter now, always there, at the very edges, even when my back is pressed to the wall, it lingers there, inescapable. I made some new friends recently, hoping it was just the silence and solitude messing with my head. But it is the same still. I notice something, and as soon as I try to tell someone else about it, even half a moment later, it's suddenly gone. It's as if only I notice it happening just long enough for me to see it, but not long enough for anyone else to be made aware of it. Yesterday, I showed someone a few of the things I have found misplaced in my apartment, hoping they wouldn't see them and I could come to terms, perhaps, with my growing mental illness. Because it has to be that. I am losing my mind slowly and I am not aware it's happening. But they saw the things. The watch, one of the plants I moved, an antique hairbrush, 
each one of them a real thing, and even after I had my friend take the watch, I see him wearing it every day. It was a nice watch. So the watch is real, and yet no one else notices the missing things, the new things every day, and I can't even tell them about them, because when I try, they disappear as quickly as they showed up. The presence at the edges of my sight is still there, watching me, toying with me, and I cannot tell anyone what it is doing or prove it is there. Last week, I bought a package of razor blades for my razor. I broke off all the plastic and set the blades on the counter in a row. It was time to stop it, I thought. I didn't like what was happening to me. I turned for a moment to run the water in the tub, to relax before I did what I felt I had to do to make it stop. When I turned around, the razor blades were all gone but the packaging was still on the counter, empty. I could hear the water, but it wasn't the faucet for the tub. The shower head was running now instead. I didn't turn the shower on. On the mirror in front of me, a note. Please don't make a mess and be sure to wash your hair. 